Well, good morning, my friends, and welcome to another Wednesday morning vlog with John O'Leary. Delighted that you're with me this morning on this gorgeous day. So here's the question today. What kind of lens are you viewing life with? Let me back into it with a quick story. Earlier this year, I went down to Florida with my family, and on the drive back, I believe in road trips as part of a vacation. On the drive back, coming from Florida through Alabama into Tennessee, all the way through Kentucky, up to to Illinois and then eventually back to my home state of Missouri. From Illinois to Missouri though, there's a bridge you cross. And on the way over this bridge, I'm looking down to my right and explaining to my kids how beautiful the arch land, this gateway arch land is going to be. I'm explaining to them all the remodeling that they're doing, explaining to them how they're completely re-landscaping, how they're completely redoing all the streets, how everything's thing's gonna be different and how when it's done, finally then it will be beautiful. And behind me, I look and I see in the mirror my seven-year-old boy, Patrick, Patrick O'Leary, who looks up with these big brown eyes and says to me, but dad, isn't it already beautiful? My friends, it caused me to pause for a moment to look back down. And instead of looking at what was not there, at the trees that might be planted, at the shrubs that may come in, at the way they may re-landscape and refocus everything down there, it allowed me for a moment to realize what was there and to realize like Patrick, it was beautiful. I think this is a mistake we sometimes make when we're crossing the bridges, not only back home, but the bridges into looking at our finances, into our relationships, into our health and into our life. My friends, yes, it's good to set goals. Yes, it's good to have a great vision. Yes, it's good to race forward towards success, toward output, toward different and better and bigger outcomes. But the way we move forward most actively and most appropriately sometimes is to pause, catch our breath, and then to see life, see relationships, see things around us through the clear perspective of a seven-year-old child that reminds us that what we have is enough.